Hey, I hope you're all enjoying Holy Week. We're going to look at Holy Week because we're going to reflect on Jesus' sacrifice, his redemption, and his resurrection. Oh, Holy Week is a sacred time on a Christian's calendar, and it invites us to journey alongside Jesus in the final days of his earthly ministry. It is a week marked by profound moments of sacrifice, redemption, and ultimately resurrection. And as we go through this spiritual journey, let us open our hearts and minds to the profound truth and transformative power of Holy Week. Do I sound excited? Well, I am. I think for a Christian, Holy Week should definitely be on our calendars. It should definitely be a week that we celebrate the sacrifice, the redemption, and ultimately the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which for us Christians changes everything. Hey, so I'm Michelle, and if this is the first time you've stopped by here, what you will find is biblical encouragement that will help you grow your own personal intimate relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you come here all the time, I just want to say thank you. Today, we're going to be talking about the Holy Week and what Easter Sunday, what Resurrection Sunday means to the life of a believer. All right, that's it. Let's get into it. So the journey of Holy Week begins with Palm Sunday in a day of triumph and celebration as Jesus enters Jerusalem. You know, he's greeted by a crowd waving palm branches and proclaiming, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. They are recognizing him as the Messiah. Yet woven within the joy lies the shadow of the cross. For Jesus knows that his path leads not to earthly glory, but to the ultimate sacrifice for the salvation of humanity. That's right, Jesus sacrificed literally his life for you and I so that we could have eternal freedom with the Lord Jesus Christ and spend eternity in heaven with him. Listen, how often do we hesitate in our faith? You know, we allow worldly concerns and desires to cloud our devotion to Christ. Let us resolve to stand firm in our commitment to follow Jesus Christ, even when the journey grows difficult, even when trying times arise. Listen, moving forward in Holy Week, as we move on this week, Let's remember Holy Thursday because that is a day observed as the Last Supper. Right On this sacred night, Jesus shared a final meal with his disciples, washing their feet in an act of humble service and imparting to them the commandment to love one another as he has loved them. You know, in the breaking of bread, in the sharing of the cup, Jesus offered his disciples and he offers us a tangible reminder of his presence in his sacrificial love. As we observe Holy Thursday, let us contemplate the profound depth of Jesus' love for us. His love for us knows no bounds. He willingly laid aside his life. He laid aside his glory and he took on the form of a servant, offering himself as a living sacrifice for the forgiveness of our sins, for the forgiveness of all of our sins, past, present, and future. So may we too be willing to humble ourselves, serving others with love and compassion following the example that Jesus Christ set for us. The journey of Holy Week, it reaches its climax on Good Friday, a day of solemn remembrance and deep sorrow as we recall the crucifixion of Jesus Christ on the cross 
Jesus bore the weight of our sins. He endured unimaginable suffering and separation from his father. Yet, you know, in his dying moments, he spoke words of forgiveness, demonstrating his boundless mercy and grace. His mercy and grace are boundless. As we meditate on Good Friday, let us not shrink from the harsh reality of the cross. It is through the shedding of Jesus's blood that we find redemption and reconciliation with God. You know, let us approach the foot of the cross with repentant hearts, acknowledging our need for his saving grace and surrendering ourselves anew to his will. We are in desperate need of his grace, aren't we? We can go through times that are so challenging that we literally feel like they are going to kill us. But God's grace is sufficient for those times, right? That's what his word says, that his grace is sufficient. No matter what we go through, his grace and his mercy are sufficient for our needs, you know, but thankfully, the story does not end at the cross, right? Thank God. Holy Week ends in the glorious victory of Easter Sunday as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In his triumph over sin, over death, Jesus offers us the promise of new life in eternal hope. As we proclaim he is risen, we affirm our belief in the power of God to overcome even the darkest of circumstances. God's grace and mercy can overcome the darkest of circumstances. I want you to remember that. On this glorious Easter Sunday, we are reminded of the power and significance of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's a day that we as Christians should remember daily, not just on Easter Sunday, because his resurrection changed everything. His resurrection gave us eternal hope in a new life. Thank you. Glory to God. You know, this marks the result of God's divine plan for the redemption of humanity not just you and I but for all of humanity Christ died it's a day of hope it's a day of renewal it's a day of victory over sin and over death hallelujah the resurrection of Jesus Christ is not merely a historical event yes it made history but that's not all it did it is the very foundation of our faith. It is the cornerstone upon which we build our faith, on which we build our beliefs. It is a solid foundation for us to build our entire lives on. You know, through his resurrection, Jesus conquered death and secured for us the promise of eternal life. As the Apostle Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 15, 17, and if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still in your sins. Wouldn't that be terrible? If Christ hadn't risen from the dead, we would be lost in our sins. We would be lost for all of eternity. And where would we find hope? To continue going when things are dark, when things are gloomy, when things seem hopeless. If we had no place to put our hope, no place to put a real live hope, I mean, we would just be in a very dark, dark place. But thank God for Resurrection Sunday. Easter Sunday is a day of great joy because it reminds us that our sins have been forgiven and that we have been reconciled to God through 
the blood of Jesus Christ. Like there's literally nothing else that has to be done for us to be reconciled to God the Father. Jesus' blood shed on the cross. Pave the way. It's done. It's finished. We are reconciled to God. Our relationship with God has been restored. And we have communication. We have unhindered communication with the Father because of that. And that's huge. That's something that we should not take for granted. We should not take it lightly. That we can communicate. That we can have communication and open dialogue, open fellowship with the Father who's in heaven. I mean, it just boggles my mind. So Easter Sunday is a day to celebrate the incredible love that God has shown us by sending his only son to die for our sins and to rise again on the third day. But Easter, it is not just about looking back at what happened over 2,000 years ago. It is also about looking forward with hope in anticipation for the fulfillment of God's promises. You know, just as Jesus was raised from the dead, so too will all who believe in him be raised to new life. As Romans 6, 4 tells us, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. This new life that we have been given is not just a future hope. It is a present reality. You know, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are being transformed day by day into the image of Jesus Christ. We are called to live as people of the resurrection. We are called to live as witnesses to the love and grace of God in all that we say and do. You know, we are to celebrate Easter this coming up Sunday. And we are to remember that that same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in us. Let us embrace the new life that we have been given and let us live each day with joy, knowing that we are children of the resurrection. I mean, how thankful are you that we live on this side of the cross? Like church, we know the entire story. We know that Jesus was raised from the dead. So may the hope of Easter, you know, just fill your hearts and minds this Sunday and always. And may you go forth with this information, this renewed sense of purpose in this deep desire to share the good news of Jesus Christ with all who will listen. You know, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, I command you to go forward and to share the good news with those you encounter this Easter Sunday. You know, because as we rejoice in the resurrection, you know, let us embrace the transformative power of Easter in our lives. And goodness sakes, let's not hold on to that. Let's share it with those around us. You know, just as Jesus emerged from the tomb victoriously, so too we are called to live as people of resurrection, walking in the light of his truth and sharing the good news of his salvation wherever we go. Church, as we journey through Holy Week and beyond, you know, don't forget what you have learned this week. Take it with you and draw near to Jesus Christ, allowing his sacrifices, his love, and his victory to shape and inspire your life from now until past eternity. You know, may this week that we're in, this holy week, be a profound spiritual renewal for you, a deepening of your faith as you walk 
with your Savior from triumphal entry to glorious resurrection. I pray that you would know Jesus Christ as the one who went to the cross to pay for your sin debt in full so that you could have a restored, a reconciled relationship with the Father in heaven. And I hope that message blesses you as you go throughout your week. Remember to remember this holy week and this Good Friday in this Easter Resurrection Sunday and allow it to impact your life. Amen. Let me pray over you. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. I thank you for Holy Week in Good Friday, Crucifixion Friday, and Resurrection Sunday, Lord. Help us to just get this message down deep on the inside of us so that it just impacts our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen.